Are you here today? Can I have this sweet? There you are. Okay. Um, Candace is the founder of Healthy Wife, Happy Life. She is a holistic health coaching practice. She has a holistic health coaching practice here in Victoria. She's a certified holistic health coach, integrative nutritionist, and a birth doula. She is a member of the American Association of Drugless Practitioners, the International Association of Health Coaches, and Dota International. Candice is passionate about holistic health and wellness, and recently worked behind the scenes on the Food Revolution Summit, where they were honored to have the noted and well-loved Dr. Vandana Shiva. Here is Candice Sweet. you a little bit about getting clear on your why and the reason I want to talk about this is because when we're not clear on our why why we're choosing to do something that's important to us in our life it's more difficult to create the change that we really want to see so for me my why and why I'm here speaking to you about Monsanto and the dangers of GMOs is my kids and my family first and foremost If that's not your why, and if you don't worry about GMOs, maybe your why should be about the absolute genocide that's been happening in India. Just like our previous speaker talked about, there has been over 250,000 suicides committed in India because of Monsanto. Shame! Yeah. It's an intricate link of what is happening there in the farmers. Monsanto has raised the prices on these farmers by over 8,000 percent. Whoa! Unacceptable! Wow. Not only do you have an increase of 8,000 percent, you often have to buy seed two or three times for planting because it doesn't actually grow. It's not drought resistant. It's not resistant to the rains, it doesn't grow. And so that 8,000 becomes a 24,000% increase of seed costs to these farmers that are tied into these contracts. If you don't worry so much about your family, or if you don't worry so much about GM, care about humanity. when I talk about GMOs. I'm labeled the black sheep often. How many of you here today feel like a little bit of a black sheep when you go out and talk about GMOs to your friends? Yeah. <laughs> Genetically modified organisms. A lot of people don't want to know. They're not ready. They don't want to hear it. And so what can you do to teach them? You can lead by example. Yeah! Cook them dinner! Yeah, cook them dinner. Cook them dinner, exactly. Now, I'll tell you a little story about my mom. My mom is an amazing woman. She's her average Canadian woman. And one day I was speaking to her about GMOs. And my mom said to me, Well, I don't need to worry about that. We don't have GMOs in Canada. Oh. <laughs> The reason I'm telling you this story is not to diss my mom. I love my mom. It's because she's an average Canadian woman. And it means to me that we have a lot of work to do to educate. So let me talk about Monsanto. Monsanto's goal is not to produce more food. We know that. There's no scientific evidence proving that they've ever been able to do this. Depopulation! Yeah. Yeah. The proof is out there that there 
are yielding less in their food production. The FDA has admitted that there's less nutrition in their food. The proof is in the pudding! What they're doing is they're creating a convenience for our farmers. What, what you used to have to do is if you, well, if you spread a weed or herbicide on top of your crops, it would kill the crops. So now what they do is they put bacterial genes into the plants so that they can spray them with their Roundup over and over and over again, and then everything dies except for the plant. Every single year, we have 115 million more pounds of Roundup sprayed on our crops. When you're eating regular factory farm food, you're eating Roundup. 85% of all GM crops in the world are designed so they can promote the use of herbicides. This is so Monsanto can make more money. So now Monsanto has a problem. 50% of all the farms in the U.S and around the world are experiencing Roundup resistant weeds. Yeah. Nature has a way. Nature has a way. So what's, what's next on Monsanto's agenda? You're gonna love it. They want to use dicamba. What is that? Di dicamba is an extremely dangerous pesticide. They're not already. They're not already, right. We've also got Dow, who's using 2,4-D, which is an agent that was used, or a chemical used in Agent Orange. We're going to have 2,4-D resisting corn and soy, so now you can spread 2,4-D, and then Monsanto is going to come along and they're saying, well, what happens when the 2,4-D doesn't work? We're going to use dicamba. And then what you've got is you've got a lot of Volatization. Dicamba volatizes. Now, if you don't know what that means, what that, what that does is it spreads when it rains. It comes back up in the soil and it spreads up to two miles over and over and over again. It doesn't just go away. It, kill, it does. It kills everything. It'll, it'll obliterate your garden. tragic legacy is that sooner or later, Monsanto is just going to not be able to produce anything that kills these super weeds anymore. We're going to run out of the, her the herbicides and the pesticides, which is great, but we are going to be left with the dead soil and not enough food, and they're going to walk away with billions of dollars in their pockets and no law to do anything about it. We need food labeling in this country. tragic story that I know of as a birth doula. I know of a mom who had a baby that wouldn't nurse. She tried as hard as she could and it didn't work for her. She had to give her baby really, you know, genetically modified baby formula because she has no choice. This baby couldn't eat the organic baby formulas that were out there because he had severe colic and allergies to them. The only one he actually could eat and not react to was the GMO baby formulas. I don't understand as a health coach and as a mom how it is even possible that we have GMO baby formula in this country. So I want to talk a little bit about BT corn. BT corn, BT soy, about the study that was mentioned earlier. Medical researchers at Sherbrooke Hospital in Quebec found BT toxin in the bloodstream of 80% of the women tested in this study. These were pregnant women. 80% of the fetal blood samples contained the BT toxin Cry 1AB. Poisoning us. How did it get there? 
none of these women or their partners had been directly exposed to the pesticide. In the report, the doctor states, given the widespread use of GM foods in local daily diet like soybeans, corn, and potatoes, factory farmed meat, it's conceivable that the majority of the population is exposed through daily diet. Yeah. All of Harper. Trace of amount, trace amounts of BT toxin are found in the GI tracts of livestock from GM cro or GM crops. So, if you guys are eating factory farmed animals, you are exposed to this BT toxin. And what the BT toxin does to kill the bugs on these farms is it destroys their digestive tract. If it gets into your blood, do you think it's not going to destroy yours? It absolutely does, and we're seeing enormous rises in celiac disease and gluten sensitivities and dairy sensitivities. We've got to actually buy local. If you want to eat meat, get local, get grass-fed, know your farmer. So, just to talk quickly about what can you do, you can do what I just said, eat local, eat grass-fed. Support your local farmers markets. Grow your own garden. Yeah. Vote with your dollars. You can make the biggest impact by voting with your dollars. If you don't know what foods contain GMOs, canola is one of the worst offenders. Corn is one of the worst offenders of GM crops. Wheat. Wheat. Absolutely. There's a lot of them and you can Google, you can look online and figure it out. You can get some great lists. You've got to be educated on this. Sugar beets! Sugar beets, absolutely. Get involved and spread the word. Tell your families, tell your friends, and absolutely lead by example. I went to a family barbecue recently and the only thing I could eat there was watermelon. <laughs> It's all good. It's, the point is, when you know better, you do better, and you can lead by that example. The other thing that you can do right now to help yourself personally, go and do a good cleanse. Do a detox. Your body needs to do this to get your toxins out. That's all i got to say. Take care.